Hey guys, these are timeless on messages. So if these messages resonate with you guys, hit that like button, like, share, subscribe, you guys. So I'm going to pull from the meditation messages first. Indigo. Somebody's an indigo child, okay? Or the color indigo could be very significant. Third eye chakra, okay? Somebody's third eye is opening here. Or is something going on with somebody's third eye chakra here? Virgo in the third house. Aries in the tenth house here, okay? Virgo in the third house. Hmm. Okay, so you, you, you're you getting some type of information with your third eye here, okay? Somebody's getting some type of information with their third eye in the Aries and 10th house here. Okay, so you may be getting some information about your image, your public image, or you're getting some information about your career, okay? Um, it's going to be very fiery here, or you need... your. Okay, so you 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 may be getting some information here. Your, your third eye is giving you some type of information or downloads here about your career, your public image, or something like that here. Okay, something that has to do with that here. And I feel like with this Aries and this Virgo energy here, it's going to be a very powerful fairy fairy like climax here, or it's going to be something very powerful here. What your third eye is probably trying to tell you right now is to stay grounded in this energy here okay um this new moon in virgo is going to basically is this is basically reminding you to to just ground yourself in this energy it's going to be a lot here okay i feel like this is gonna this is about your um your financial stability self-sufficiency okay your um responsibilities with yourself here is about security here okay California could be very significant. Colorado could be very significant here. Okay, I just like seeing California here. Okay, yeah, there's going to be a shift here. Okay, your third eye is basically warning you now. You may be getting some type of visions, visions, visions or nudges or downloads about this here. And it's definitely about your job or your career. Okay, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I feel like you could be somebody who is very smart, okay? Very intellectual here, okay? Um, a farm could be very significant. I just thought about farm bill. I don't know if anybody remember farm bill on Facebook. That could be very significant. A farm could be very significant. Maybe that's something that you want here, okay? The number 15 could be very significant. The letter W could be very significant. Or somebody is living on a farm or somebody lives on a farm or they want to farm here okay so that may be what the nudges that you are getting here about your career here is something about a farm it don't have to specifically be a farm it could be um you colonizing something or something is propagating or something is growing here okay i'm showing you in that energy and that could be the shift here Okay, so these are really beautiful messages here. So your career is growing here and, and you're going through a shift here. Okay, seven of wands in reverse here. Um, there is some type of either defeat within yourself here. That's why I'm getting this energy of you needing to ground yourself here. This is really good news here, but it's almost like stay humble or stay grounded don't don't go haywire or something here three of wands in reverse here yeah because i feel like you need to be careful of your surroundings here is what i'm getting here there is going to be some type of conflict here because of your career okay yeah i feel like there is about to be some type of riffraff going on here okay i feel like you ha you may have several people that may be feeling defeated about your energy here about what's going on in your life here about your shift and they're going to try to bring some type of conflict to you here whoever these people are i feel like you don't trust these people anyway here i feel like you pretty much already detach yourself from these people here and this is you and this energy and this temperance energy 
having a renewal here, healing, you're at peace. I feel like people are a little defeated about your peace here, maybe about your spirituality here, about your third eye here, your intuition here. And I feel like you may be very confident in this energy here. I feel like if you are using your intuition in any way, shape or form about your career, I feel like you do it for the goodwill or you do it in a pure type of energy here. I feel like you are on a mission on this earth. Whatever you do, you could be some type of earth angel here. Yeah, I feel like you bring other perspectives here. I feel like that defeats people here. Okay. So your shift actually defeats people. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't even think that's really important. Okay. Will of Fortune in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, Nine of Wands in reverse, Six of Wands in reverse, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Wands, Three of Cups in reverse, Tower in reverse, Nine of Swords in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse, Empress in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're getting the downloads here for sure. You're getting attacked here, okay? These people... I don't even know you're not getting attacked here you may have at some point but i'm strongly getting like these people feel defeated because if they did attack you they're not it's not working here two of pentacles king of cups five of cups in reverse eight of cups in reverse six of cups four of wands in reverse queen of wands in reverse and the emperor here okay so yeah somebody feels defeated about your shift here Okay, Ten of Wands in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse here. Okay, so I feel like whoever this is, I feel like they put too much, entirely too much effort into trying to block you here because they done beat a dead horse here. Okay, it's, it, this person is really tired here and they're in denial about trying to attack you here. I feel like this is somebody who realized that they attacked the wrong person. Not saying that they should be attacking anyone, but I'm strongly getting like this person picked the right one to attack because obviously this person is learning some type of lesson here or they're about to here because if they were attacking you here, it caused them to be at a lack here. And I'm strongly getting that if they're trying to still attack you again or they're trying to attack you here, they're not able to get some type of information out of you here or they're not try or they're not getting enough information about you here, okay? Will of Fortune in reverse, King of Swords in reverse, Nine of Wands in reverse, Six of Wands in reverse here, okay? Um, whoever this is, this is somebody who is trying to disrupt your path here. Your third eye is actually giving you downloads about this here. They're trying to cause some type of setbacks and delays here. Whoever this is, they're very idiotic here, very close-minded here, in denial. Like, they don't want to, it's like they don't want to see the truth that you know the truth about them or they're upset because you know the truth about them. So, they're trying to control a situation here, okay? They're, it's like they're trying to snatch the truth, truth from you and put the lie in your face here or something here like they're trying to put some type of illusion here this could be a narcissist here i feel like you're not compromising with this person or you're not giving this person any attention here and it, it's causing a blockage with this person here okay yeah i feel like whoever this is um they this is somebody who don't really focus on their self okay because at the end of the day, they're focused so much on you. They're procrastinating taking care of their responsibilities with their self or worrying about their self here. This is somebody who is like, they're not taking care of their self. They're at a lack. They must don't have nothing going on for their self or they don't have nothing. Um, they don't have nothing else better to do here. Okay. Um not thinking very clearly here because i'm strongly getting like somebody should be really focusing on herself but they're really focused on you here and it's because they're really jealous of you they're infatuated with you at that they're infatuated with you and they're jealous of you here okay this could be a third party here that you may have probably avoided here this person is trying they tried to basically cause some type of conflict or they tried to delay some type of fate for you or tried to block block your fate or something here but i feel like like again you did not compromise with this person you didn't pay this person any mind here 
because at the end of the day it's looking like you knew that this person was you knew that this person was going to you knew they was going to block their self your your intuition has told you that I'm strongly getting like this could be somebody who may have tried to they tried to humiliate or embarrass you in some type of way here and that was really not a smart move for this person here whoever this is they're really an idiot here they probably feel like an idiot and they're still trying to prove a point that whatever that they was doing was right or whatever that they was doing actually worked or something here it did not here this is a karmic here okay this is somebody who they're they're so infatuated with you it became it became a jealousy here because this is somebody who wants to be like you and they're bitter they're bitter because they can't be like you here this is somebody who has a lack of confidence in herself they they're very insecure within herself like i said this is somebody who don't have nothing going for themselves so they see you getting alkylates in your life about your career and they're getting upset about it as if it has something to do with them Instead of them looking within or looking at their self like, hey, well, maybe I should try to heal or work on myself. No, this person is just bitter because their manipulative ways didn't work on you. Okay. This is somebody who is very traumatizing here. Okay. This could be somebody who a lot of people don't pay attention to. They could have some type of psychological issues within their self here. Okay. Um, these could be, it could be like two or three people here. Okay. Two, maybe four. Okay. Um, I feel like this is somebody who, I feel like whoever this is, they may have been, um, they may have been trying to cause some type of shift with a King of Cups energy here. This could be somebody, this could be a third party here that may have tried to, they may have been okay with being juggled or being a third party here. So this person was trying to basically, they were basically giving this person a choice. So they were in love with whoever this King of Cups is here. Okay, and they were jealous that this King of Cups may have been in love with you here. Like it was shift after shift in this person's life here. It's like this person had a shift with being a third party. Then they had another shift here when they probably found out about you. They became jealous and infatuated with you. They wanted to be like you and they were bitter because they couldn't find balance in doing that here. And it was all because they were in love with this King of Cups energy here. I feel like whoever this King of Cups energy don't even care. Okay. I feel like they don't even care here. Okay. I feel like this is somebody who is still moving forward here. Either this is somebody who is leaving somebody behind here. Okay. They do not care. They're still moving on or they're still moving forward here because they cannot continue to fake their happiness with somebody here or nothing more can be done of this situation with this person here. I feel like somebody is trying to have a reconciliation with this person here. They're not going to get it. Nothing more can be done. This is finito. This is over here. And I feel like this person is being very manipulative in his energy. They're trying to manipulate somebody to be with them. They're trying to manipulate an emperor energy here. Maybe they're trying to seduce this person here. They're being very deceitful in a sexual manner for no reason to be with this person here. It's like... I feel like somebody is realizing that somebody is okay with being a third party and... The only reason why they're okay with being a third party is because they want to be like somebody else or they're competing for somebody else here. But all actuality, this person is infatuated with you or something here. They're infatuated with the person that they actually want to be like here. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Leo energy here. This karmic or this third party here. They're, they're forming too much stress within their self doing this here. Because none of it is working here. I feel like if somebody met somebody and they was, you know, having sex with this person and uh, having fun with this person, I guess. Because it don't even look like it's fun here. It just looked like these people just drink and, and, and drink. Okay, I, I guess. Um... 
And I feel like somebody may have just been a side chick or they may have been a third party. And at some point, this person may have thought that, hey, if I be like somebody else, maybe this person will step it up a notch and put me in another, on another level in a connection. No, this person never changed their mind on how they look at this third party. This third party is a third party here. So when this person found out about you, they're probably like, oh, well, if this person liked them so much, then maybe I should be like this person. Maybe they'll like me more. No. If anything, it made this person hate them. Four of Cups. Ace of Swords. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse. And three of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, I feel like... Um, it's looking like at the end of the day, it's looking like somebody wants to transform and um, have they, they're, they're going through some type of transformation here. And they want to have a new beginning with this earth angel here. This is somebody who is their peace. Okay, they want healing with this person here. Okay, um, this is somebody who they deem as somebody who know their worth here. This is somebody's muse. Okay, somebody tried to compete with an earth angel or they, they're bitter because they can't change somebody's mind on how they feel about an earth angel. And this is the shift here. I don't think this person ever is going to accept that. But it's here. Okay, four of cups, ace of swords, eight of swords in reverse, five of pentacles, and the three of swords in reverse here. Yeah, whoever this emperor is. There, there may not, they may not, they may be refusing to even have sex with this person because whoever this Queen of Wands energy is, they're trying to manipulate this Emperor energy to, they're trying to manipulate this person in, through sex or they're trying to manipulate this person to have sex with them. It's very thirsty type of energy here. This person is very masculine. Like they come off at, they're feminine probably, but they're coming off very masculine in this energy here. They're just trying to procrastinate somebody from moving forward. But I feel like whoever that they're trying to procrastinate, they don't care. They're still going to refuse an offer from this person here. They're taking control. I feel like somebody has common sense to stand up for themselves. I feel like there ain't, it ain't that much sex in the world. I feel like this whoever this emperor is, they're not thirsty for sex. They can get it somewhere else. It's an emperor. I feel like at the end of the day, this is somebody who probably is controlling herself here. I feel like somebody is freeing herself from somebody and they're moving on here. I feel like this is somebody who's making progress of letting go of a third party situation here. Somebody don't want this third party here. Okay, so that is the biggest shift here. This is not what they want. Okay, temperance. Hangman, Ace of Wands, Hierophant, and Reverse, Nine of Cups here, okay? Yeah, I feel like whoever this Temperance is, um, they're either, this, this Temperance energy either is causing another perspective here, and somebody may have tried to sacrifice this person here because of that, or this person is basically... I feel like if somebody is trying to attack this person, they don't have really no type of direction with doing so here. Um, I feel like somebody is stressing their stuff out trying to attack this person here. It's really the wrong thing to do here, okay? This earth angel, they probably, they're on this earth on a mission here to change perspective here, okay? Their third eye is completely open here. This is somebody who is very spiritual, could be somebody who's very psychic and very intuitive. This could be a healer here. Their whole motive and their whole perspective is to cause another perspective for other people here. This person brings inspiration. This is somebody who's very inspiring. Somebody who brings sparks into people's life. Growth and excitement in people's life here. Okay, this is somebody who communicates here. And I feel like somebody is distraught about this person here. Because whoever this karmic is, they like living a lie. They like living off of a lie here, okay? They like living off of a delusion here. This person is very miserable. They're unhappy with themselves. So they don't want 
it's like they want to keep somebody stuck with them because they're unhappy with their self here. They're okay with being a third party. Somebody needs healing. I, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to pull from the soul helper here. Yeah. I feel like... I feel like if this third party is trying to communicate with this emperor energy here, this emperor is probably acting funny towards this person here. And this person is, they're trying their best to manipulate this person here. This, they're trying their best to procrastinate this person from moving forward here to progress. It is, it don't have nothing to do with probably this person trying to stop somebody from being with somebody else. They don't want this emperor to progress. That's like an ultimate betrayal here, okay? This person's not paying this person any mind here. They're seeing how fake this person is, how insecure and low this person is. They don't want a reunion with this person here. They're not compromising their love with this person here. Somebody wants, a, wants forgiveness and reconciliation with this person, but I feel like this person is looking at this person like they're a narcissist. This emperor is looking at this uh, karmic as a narcissist here. It's like this person was expecting this person to actually awaken or actually see them for who they are here. So they're humiliated. They're embarrassed here. They're coping with the fact that nothing more can actually be done here. That somebody is still making progress of letting them go here. And they're still trying to set this person back. They're still trying to delay this person's fate here. This person is still moving forward here because I feel like whoever this emperor is, they have common sense to know that they, something just has to change. It has to be a shift here because whoever this karmic is, is holding this person back and nobody can really hold you back but yourself. But this is somebody who is like a parasite to this person here. Really, they're like sucking this person. They're like a leech, a moocher here. They have nothing going on for themselves here. Somebody's third eye is open here, okay? I feel like whoever this karmic is, they're affecting somebody's career. And somebody, somebody's intuitively seeing that here. They may have been ignoring that or it was something that was unseen. Because this person, whoever this karmic is, they're very sneaky. They're very sneaky. They made sure they was around this person's energy all the time. They may be very overbearing. They didn't give this person a second to think. They made sure that their little magic was working. This person is probably into divinations here. They probably was doing divinations work on this person here. They made sure that this person wasn't out of their sight for something to work. I feel like somebody is healing here and using their common sense. So they're standing up to whatever this is. This is abuse. Somebody's dealing with a narcissist here that is abusing them. And it could be a feminine energy here. Somebody is taking control here. I feel like somebody may be feeling empowered at the, in this energy, in this emperor energy. They're feeling empowered with saying no. They're, they're feeling empowered with letting go of somebody here. This is over. This is like, this is more than just a breakup. This is like the ending of a breakup. Like, it, it may have been a breakup for some time here. This is the ending of a breakup. Like, okay, well, we have been broken up or you. I've showed you the signs that this is no longer going to be happening anymore. So at this point, you should know by now that this relationship is through. That's what I'm getting out of this, okay? Yeah. It's causing somebody to look at things in another perspective here. They have to let go. Because they're blocked. So, I, don't be surprised if somebody is going to be going to feel like they are being used in a situation here. They're going to try to flip it here. But they really was using this emperor. This emperor energy here. They're really trying to disrupt somebody's path here. Okay? 
Um, the signs that I have in this reading strongly is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius. The letters that I have in this reading is W, Y, H, V, C, L, U, D, M, V. Okay. Square, give me some messages from the soul helper, please. Common sense will take you a long way. Okay, it's very common, honestly, it's very simple. But when you look at things clearly and you have a clear mind of things and you actually can think for yourself without being clouded by, by a parasite that's trying to clout your vision, you start to see this you start to see stuff and it's and it begins a shift. You start to see the truth. You get clarity. Have courage here because I feel like somebody is going to try to attack someone here for basically transforming here or progressing here. This is some that is shit. A light filled angel is at your side. It watches over you in every every dark doorway here. Okay. Somebody's 38 years old here. Feel the power of your blood and your ancestors here. You're not alone here yet. Somebody sees that. Okay, because somebody's third eye is open in here. Okay, somebody's going to try. I'm strongly getting this energy that somebody's going to try to do some type of divinations work or magic on somebody here, but they're going to be too awakened here. I'm, I'm getting this energy. Somebody's going to feel it here. Okay, release your inner rebel here. Be yourself and create your own universe here. Somebody could be 23 years old, 38 years old here. Yeah, I feel like somebody learned the karmic lesson here and their ancestors helped them. Yeah, follow your vision here. Success and happiness is on the way here, okay? Continue to protect yourself. Continue to have courage to protect your energy here, okay? And follow your vision here. Follow your intuition here. Follow your vision. And it could be about your career here, okay? Because success and happiness are coming here, okay? Enjoy and celebrate life here. Your ancestors are here with you here, okay? Or there is an earth angel around you here that is helping you here. Listen to your guides. But this is all I got for you guys. I hope this is very helpful for you guys. Again, these are timeless noted messages. If these messages resonate with you guys, hit that like button. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Love you guys. Smooches.